cloud. Okay, great. Okay. All right. Hi, everybody. Uh, today is uh, Thursday and it's November 5th, 2020. And I really thank everyone uh, for participating today. Uh, what we would like to do is get some information about what we could do to help others who may have a loved one, basically a brother or a sister with special needs. And so today we have really four very uh, important people that I've come across in my life. And I'm very honored that they're a part of our circle of friends. Uh, and they have a lot of wisdom. They're all about the same age, which is really remarkable because I didn't really plan it that way. But I'm very excited that they've been able to spend some time with us, take time out to share some good information. So I guess we'll start with Matthew B. If you can introduce yourself and maybe tell us uh, what grade you are, Matthew. And I think, yeah, there you go. Hi, I'm Matthew Barozzi and I'm in grade six. Okay, great. And uh, Emma, why don't you also start? Hi, uh, I'm Emma Delhaas. I am Chrissy Mattis's daughter and I am in seventh grade. Okay, and Michelle? I am Michelle Salvatore and I am in seventh grade. Great, and Matthew? Yeah, I'm Matthew Villanueva and I am in seventh grade as well. Great, great. Um, and I guess I'll start with uh, Michelle. Michelle, do you have a favorite subject? I like language arts. Really? Why? Uh, I don't know. I just like it. Yeah, you like writing. Oh, that's good. And yeah. Matthew B., do you have a favorite subject in school? I really like science. Oh, science. Oh, that's good. That's a good thing. Yeah, that's fun. How about you, Emma? <laughs> I enjoy science and math. Yeah, it's math. Well, now math has been better. Just, yeah, because now it's part of forensics stuff. So, yeah. That's good. And Matthew V, do you have a favorite topic? Uh, I like math. It's straightforward and easy. That's good. That's a good thing, too. So outside of school, Matthew B, do you have anything that you like to do? Mm -hmm. Me? Yeah, why don't you? Okay, Matthew V, let's start with you. Okay. Um, any activities I like to do after school? Yeah, what do you like to do? Well, I, I usually do band after school, like okay. in a bunch of performing arts, anything that considers music or dancing. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's good. You've been doing that a long time? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have. Oh, that's good. Do you perform in other places? Um, basically just for the football games and the concerts, that kind of stuff. That's fun. I know with COVID, I think things are a little different, huh? Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. And Matthew B, what do you do after school? Anything? Matthew B, do you do anything after school? I do. I, I do baseball after school. Oh, that's good. The, does the school have a team or is it like a, uh, one of those uh, outside teams? It's an outside team. Oh, good. How, and were they able to do things even now with COVID? Yeah. Oh, that's great. What, did you finish the season or you started the season? No, I have two more games. Two more. How, how's the team doing? Huh? How is your team doing? Uh, yeah, they're doing okay. Yeah. <laughs> What's the name of your team? They always have fun names. Red Sox. The Red Sox. That's true. They like to mimic the other big leagues. That's fun. And Michelle, what do you like to do after school? I like to do like running, like cross country and track. Oh, yes, that's right. Drawing too. Wow, that, that covers everything. Oh, that's good. Is there anything that you like to draw in particular? Um, well, I like to draw like animals. Oh, that's that's nice. That's a good one. Emma, what do you like to do after school? Um, well, there's not really much in particular, but I like animating, drawing, and watching anime. That's just mm -hmm. fun stuff I do. Well, that's good. So um, everybody, uh, it seems that you have either a brother or a sister with special needs. So, you know, we'll start with Emma. Uh, Emma, can you tell us um, something about your sister that makes her unique? Well, Juliana has Down syndrome, but um, she always likes to play video games with me, even though she beats me all the time. 
and most of the time she wins but um she's very good at that and yeah so <laughs> that's good and uh Matthew V is there anything you want to share about and you have a brother right Matthew mm-hmm. yeah anything unique about him mm, yeah they, my brother has autism and um he doesn't say things a lot but he does like he is very determined to get what he wants like if he wants water he'll get through all of us to get that and he also and he also um he didn't know how to swim at first but he really wanted to do the water so he taught himself how oh great that's amazing that's really good and is your your pool is it still open or is it closed now it's too cold for swimming yeah <laughs> you always try how about you michelle you have a brother right yeah uh his name is nicholas and he has adhd and um he's very energetic and mm-hmm. he loves playing video games do you play the same games uh sometimes but most of the times he likes to play by himself oh goodness are there things that you David, um, and Matthew and David, uh, you know, it's interesting, Matthew V, your brother uh, has the same name as Matthew V. I thought that's very interesting. So Matthew B, is there anything you could tell us that you and your brother have in common? Are there things that you both like to do together or uh, things that you do that are just fun? Me and David like playing basketball and video games together a lot. Oh, <laughs> I like the a lot part. That's good. And uh, for the basketball, do you play like outside or you go somewhere? We have a a little basketball hoop in our backyard that we just just, like shoot the ball all day. Oh, that's great. And in the video games, are they like on TV or iPad or does it matter? It doesn't really matter. Yeah, but he likes doing that. Oh, that's good. How about you, Matt V, uh, with you and your brother? Are there things that you guys have in common? Mm, most of us like to do our separate things, but music was always one of the qualities everybody shared in the family. That's right. That's right. I even know that your, your mom has a great singing voice as well. So uh, that's always nice. What does he do musically? Does he like listening to it? He likes to sing music over again. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I think Alexa would break. <laughs> that's right. The power of Alexa. That's great. How about you, Michelle? You and your brother? Anything in common? Oh, well, we both uh, we both play basketball. So sometimes we'll uh, go outside and we'll shoot some hoops. And okay. uh, sometimes we'll play video games together. That's always good too. So, uh, and you, Emma, you and Juliana, the things you have in common? Uh, yeah, I just got Juliana into anime. So she's starting off with that. <laughs> um, <laughs> but since we're kind of opposites in our personalities, we do a lot together still, but we are opposites in our personalities, personality-wise. Okay. I guess that's so. a good question. What kind of opposites? How are you guys opposite? Yeah, yeah, you, Emma. Oh, um, well, Juliana's more energetic than me, and I'm more, I guess you could say, mellow. On or yeah, so that's a good way of saying it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> good. <laughs> oh goodness. Um, So here's a question, Um, you know, now sometimes, you know, what we're hoping to do is share some great information with your guys, with your experience for other kids who have a sibling, a brother and sister uh, with special needs. Um, Are there things that you can help them? Like if they are feeling frustrated with their brother or sister um, and maybe there's some useful advice or something you can tell them to do or what you've done if you've ever felt frustrated uh, Michelle, is there something you might want to help them with and tell them what they could think about? Uh, you just have to remember that it doesn't matter what other people think about your sibling. As long as you love them, that's enough. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. Uh, Matt B, is there um, something like, you know, if, if you know, uh, you know, some other kids who might be feeling frustrated um, and feeling sad and, and they have a, 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 a brother or sister with special needs, is there something that you might any words of encouragement or anything, some useful advice for them? For you, you met. <laughs> Just keep a smile on your face. That's good. That's right. That's true. You know what they say? It takes 
less muscles to smile and more muscles to frown. I've, I've read that. And so it's, it's interesting thought. How about you, Emma? Well, if they're getting mad with Juliana or frustrated with her, usually I have to calm myself down first. Mm -hmm. And then I go uh, talk to them to make mm -hmm. sure that they understand. But um, all in all, just stay like, just make sure that they understand and they won't hurt her or do anything like spread mean stuff about her. Right, right. Uh, Matt V, um, you know, if any, uh, any words of advice to uh, kids who have brother, sister with the specialists and maybe they're feeling frustrated themselves for some reason, any words of encouragement? You sh well, like, um, you know how some people say any of that things? My mom says you just have to educate the people and make them understand why they're behaving that way. Yeah, I think that's a big deal. And it starts with you guys because, you know, sometimes I even read things in the news where adults still don't have the great attitude and say things that doesn't sound, that doesn't make sense. And I think it does start at home where we try to educate each other. And you guys already at your young age already know that that's a big deal of how much you could help others. You know, sometimes, um, and maybe we've seen it, that other people may not know how to approach our, love, our brother or sister with special needs. Sometimes they may say things or stare. Um, again, is there something that you might, some helpful advice um, that you could try to help to make the thing, make it better, maybe help that other sibling, how they can cope? Anything, Michelle, that you might be able to add? Um, like Matthew said, you have to educate them and, you know, tell them why. And um, if the staring really does bother you, you, you have to tell them that it's bothering you. And staring is just, it's not really nice, They're just like you and me. Yeah, exactly. How about you, Emma? Usually what I do is if, if I'm sort of from a distance from Juliana, I go over and hug her so that they know that I'm around. That's but um, if nice. they keep, if they continue doing it, I do talk to them usually. I don't, yeah, and I just talk you, to them. You know, what do you kind of say? Yeah. I usually uh, inform them about how she is and who she is, but not telling them who exactly she is, but um, informing them about her special needs and things like that. So that's good. That's good. How about you, Matthew B? So I'm gonna, if I just caught somebody staring at my brother, I, I would literally just go up to them and just talk to them. Yeah, yeah. And how about you, Matt? Hmm? Me? Yeah. Um. Usually, I just say to them, "He's just having a harder time than us," because, like, for him, it's like worse than how we're feeling. Yeah. You know, and I think that's a big deal because I think sometimes um, kids who may not know what to do, who are in your shoes and have a sibling, they may not know what to think or know that there's others going through this. And I think the four of you are just fantastic models of how others can think about and how they could see how they could think about things and their attitude. So I really give all of you such big credit. Uh, and I really, again, thank you all for that you know, piece of advice in your time. You really shared some great advice. Um, any last thing you wanna to say to the siblings out there who are in your shoes? Uh, anything you wanna say, Emma, like for some last words? What I tell them is if they just receive news that their uh, sibling will have special needs, just um, it may take time, but you will definitely get used to them and they all just, just treat them like a regular sibling and just have fun <laughs> with them. So, and you, Michelle? Um, pretty much the same thing Emma said. You just got to love them like a regular sibling. Treat them the same. Love them the same. That's great. And uh, Matthew B? Just got to encourage good things. That's great. Yep. And Matt? Um, I mean, you, you still gotta love them. They're both human like everyone else, right? That's right. Yep, that's right. Well, I thank all of you for your time. I really appreciate it. I think it was so good and all the information 
And I know it's not easy to talk about, but I think uh, what you did share was so valuable and there'll be so many kids just so thankful. So thank you, Matthew B, Emma, Michelle, and Matt V. I appreciate you being here and I'm sure we'll be in touch, but goodbye everybody. Thank you again. Bye. <clears throat>